mastitis. Since Bracy was born, I've already had three cases of clogged ducts that led to mastitis. I think this is happening to me during the night when I went a few hours without pumping and boom, I get a clogged duct. It's painful, it's red, it's sore, and I have mastitis. This is really common and you know, it's really hard to pace things with your breasts. You're trying to stimulate your breasts to produce as much milk, but you wanna constantly be taking the breast milk out of there because otherwise you can get a clogged duct. It's ironic because what you wanna do, it hurts so much, is not touch it. You wanna leave it alone, but that's the last thing you should do. Rather, what you wanna do is nurse and pump constantly. The latest advice is cold showers. It used to be hot showers and you wanna massage. I show how to massage the breasts in week two. I recommend going like this in a circular motion. The lactation consultant told me to place the fingers under the breast and just lift up like this, especially before pumping. She also advised putting your thumb and forefinger like this around the nipple and gently squeezing. And I would do, you know, what I started to do is almost like a breast exam you do for, for breast cancer. Go around like this in a circular motion, gently pushing with your fingers and just make sure you try to like access all the ducts and soften everything up. And as much as this hurts, if you have a clogged duct or mastitis, this is what you need to do in order to get better. I've also started taking some lactation safe probiotics, which the lactation consultant recommended to me. You can also try fermented foods with probiotic effects. Thank you.